Hello everybody, my name is Ardalan Gulabizadeh and the first I recommend subscribe to my channel in YouTube and automatically you will receive my videos about the growing saffron, growing spices, growing saffron if you have the good understanding of the growth period of saffron this guarantees your success in the growing saffron indoors okay? I would like to describe a growth period of the saffron in different months your task in growing saffron as you can see I'm showing you the growth period of the saffron you know this is the May these times the bulbs it doesn't have activity you know in the May June July August okay the best time for purchasing the bulbs in the June July August because the bulbs doesn't have any activity the bulbs are asleep but some hormones is the is active what is the best time for you for purchasing the bulbs in the june july i guess because you can not see any leaves any roots you know only bulbs and in the transportation for example the bulbs from the different countries because sometimes it takes over one week over two weeks you know sometimes 15 days sometimes 20 days when the bulb doesn't have activity you can store in the plane in the ship in the shipping the bulbs won't be any damages okay the best time the june july i guess when you purchase the bulbs okay for example in the june in the july you immediately after the separating the extra peels and the uh, also with the if this needs to fungicide or pesticides in the wooden boxes in your greenhouse in your chamber okay after purchasing if you for example purchase in the june in june july you should provide for the bulb only temperature 25 centigrade it doesn't need to any light it doesn't need to any humidity only the temperature 25 centigrade as you can see humidity 60 percent light zero and co2 2000 ppm also in july you should provide in greenhouse for the bulbs temperature 25 centigrade humidity 60 percent light zero and co2 2000 ppm also in the august in the august this is the bud gradually will be appeared you know this is the name of the bud or sprouts when the reach to 2 cm, 3 cm is the best time for changing the temperature. Temperature changes to 20 centigrade, humidity increased to 80%, light 1000 lux, and CO2 1000 ppm. You should provide in your greenhouse for the bulbs. When you provide these environmental factors, the sprouts gradually will be increased. As you can see, 10 cm, 8 cm. And the best time for cold shocking, 12 centigrade, humidity 80%, light over 1000 lux, and CO2 800 ppm. That is the task of the air handling unit. Your air continually should be circulate. You should have the circulation in your environment via Louvre's exhaust, via air handling unit, air conditioners. And after two weeks in October, in countries, for example, in the Northern Hemisphere, except the Australia in the South Africa, you should, they should see that, they, for example, South Africa, Indonesia, in the Australia, they should see to the season, okay? But the other country, you should see the October. October is the best time for flowering. You know, in the October, after cold shocking, the buds, as you can see, please focus, in the temperature, in the October, after cold shocking, gradually will be appear the new, the beautiful flowers. And this time you should uh, change the temperature again in 17 centigrade. Okay, the buds when this to 10 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and the after cold shocking, the flowers will be appeared. You should provide 17 centigrade. With, with, with seeing the first flower, you should change the temperature to 17 centigrade, humidity 85 percent, light over 1000 lux and CO2 800 ppm during two weeks you have flowers each 1000 kilogram of bulbs gives you around 500 grams to one kilogram dry saffron is depending on your quality of the saffron in the best condition okay 
after two weeks you should provide for the because during six months during four months it doesn't include any irrigation during flowering you do not need to any fertilizer any water but after flowering you should increase the life during flowering you shouldn't have any roots or leaves but in the november you should provide the light over 2000 lux co2 800 ppm humidity 80 percent and the temperature it doesn't need to a special control 10 to 20 8 to 25 and the leaves gradually will be appear in this time for the best time for the giving fertilizer they need to elements macro elements you know in december you should provide for the vermiculite or the soil a little or another bed and giving fertilizer nitrogen phosphor potassium acadian because we have the maximum roots and these macro elements receive via roots okay and in the january in the january with the increasing the light and the temperature also 10 to 20 centigrade will be increased in this time also is good for spraying for the macro elements for the manganese um molybdenum bore and plus sulfur sulfur is also good for the bulb also regulate the ph in the seven range okay after january the leaves also will be increased in this time with the best time because we have the maximum roots and the best the mark the micro element like a manganese like a molybdenum like a bull absorb via leaves you should spray and gradually the mother bulb will be disappeared and the new bulbs the new daughters will be appeared on the surface of the bulb with spraying leaves with the macro element and also in March, the leaves of the leaves changes to become to yellow and the leaf roots will be disappear. And this time the propagation of the bulbs and we have the bulbs and this cycle again, repeat. Okay. Irrigation only with two stage. We need to the giving irrigation at the beginning of winter, at the end of the winter, at the end of the winter, we need to only water on the on at the, at the beginning of the spring also we need to irrigation in two or three stages because there's a very very low water the saffron it is very important for us thank you so much